Hey there! In this video, I'm creating smart post styles with the help of JetBlock plugin. Here is the design that we are going to be creating. And now let's head over to Elementor Editor. Now in the Element panel, search for Smart Post Styles widget, which is a part of JetBlock plugin. And just drop it onto a new section. And you'll see some presets of the layout that you can use. So there are multiple ways you can display your posts in smart tiles. This is just the basic setup that you can work with and later you can adjust all the smaller details like width, height, gap between the tiles, etc. For now, I am going with this layout. And what I want to do is to increase the height of this module, like so and leave the width as it is, and then you can enable or disable the post terms and choose what terms it's going to pull out, categories or tags, or if you have some custom terms, it's going to pull out the custom terms if you choose. You can also show multiple terms if you wish. If you wish, you can restrict the plugin to show only the set length of the title. Here you can set the excerpt length, or you can hide the excerpt on these small tiles, and they're going to appear only when you hover over them. Now you can enable or disable the post meta, and it can be post author, or only the post date. And you can also show the comments. Now that's it. Now let's go to the next step, which is called Query and Controls. You can use it as a archive template. You can also create custom query. And if you click on this link, it's going to take you to Kirkleblock website, where you can create your custom query. Or you can create the query using these settings. So you can query the posts by categories, tags, or IDs. And if you type in a certain category, it's going to pull out the posts that belong to this category only. You can also exclude the posts by IDs. And you can offset the posts just like so. You can also enable a filter by custom field or a carousel. So I have only five posts in total, so I'm not able to use the slider with this layout. So just to show you, I'll switch to this layout and go to the controls again. Press enable carousel. And now I see the controls. And when I click on them, the slider is going to work and show me the other posts that are hidden on the other slide. Like so. And in the style tab, you can also see the settings for these arrows. But I still want to switch to this layout. And in the last tab, which is called custom fields, you can create the custom fields for your post and show them either before or after the title or before and after the content. Here you can add the items and you can get more information how to create custom fields with JetBlock plugin if you go to our documentation. Now let's go to the style tab and see what settings we've got in here. So as I've said, you can increase the gap between the boxes. The padding, choose the border type and the box overlay. So 
So I will create a blue gradient overlay. Then let's go to content and change the color of the title to white. And make the size of the title a little bigger, then align it to the left. And you can choose the color of the main box title separately. And you can also change the color of the post text, like so. And also, I will align it to the left. So I also change the color of the meta text to white and leave the alignment to the left. And if you have the meta for the author and for the date, you can increase the gap between these two. Now to the terms links. So let's we'll change the color of the background. Like so, and the text is going to be white. The border radius will be three. So we have round corners. The margin, I love the margin as it is. And on hover, I'll not apply any special effects. Uh, the paging arrows, since we don't have any, I'm not showing it to you, but you see that you have a whole lot of settings, such as positioning and the look of the arrows. And here are the cell settings for the custom fields. Now what I'm going to do is publish this page and have a look at it on the front end. And here we go, we have created smart tiles with JetBlock plugin. That's pretty much it for this tutorial. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.